Hi, I'm Mitchell Green, Managing Director of Tyrone Textiles. Uh, at the moment we're stood behind our warehouse building at, at Marshgate Lane, Stratford in East London. Uh, on this site, in five years' time, the Olympics will happen. Today is the first day that the Olympics has really started to affect us. We're now in the back of our car park, as you can see, which is all these spaces over here. We currently, out of about 20 spaces, have use of about eight. If you want an Olympic art, then I suppose you'd have to pick someone who's like actually from the area, but you know, that's not going to happen. We're going to get, you know, plenty of wonderful drawings of like, you know, batons being passed and stuff like that. And no actual, no actual art. I can't see any art coming out of the Olympics. I can just see more guff. The fact is, we, we did discover for the first time some paths which were actually blocked off and the alternatives were really poor. Now, we're talking about six years before the Olympics. How much of, more of this is going to happen? How many more paths are going to be lost to us during that time? I'm Glenn White and I'm the school site supervisor at Carpenters Primary School in Stratford. It's the closest school to, 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 the, to the Olympic Village, 2012. This regeneration um, that, that Stratford's going to get and East London's going to get, it, you know, it, it, it is going to be good. Um, but, you know, regeneration comes at a price. People want to live close to the Olympic site, so we're just now starting to see the developers moving into Stratford and apartments and the cranes going up on our skyline. All this within touching distance of our school.